Five reasons why the Aam Aadmi Party is turning out to be a political mess. What people want is a leader who leads them and not someone who comes back whining about injustice, whether real or perceived. Second, the timing of Kejriwal's dharna. When people are being shot at and beaten to death in Sangam Bihar and Wazirpur over the water crisis in Delhi, a sit-in by the chief minister, his deputy and two other ministers, that too in an AC office is anything but sensitive. Especially considering air pollution in Delhi has reached a hazardous level. Is the ruling party of Delhi living up to its name? Or is it just misleading? Third, the politics behind Kejriwal's dharna. It is obviously trying to cushion the up against public backlash for its failures in governance and to gain relevance in the anti-BGP front. Visits by Mamta Banerjee, Chandrababu Naidu, Pinaray Vijayan and H.D. Kumaraswamy to Kejriwal's residence to convey their solidarity shows exactly this. Fourth, there is a section of Kejriwal supporters who see this dharna as a sign of his preparation to launch another movement like the India Against Corruption of 2011-2012. However, it may never actually take off. Fifth, Delhiites elected Kejriwal as chief minister to translate activism into governance, not governance into activism. His allegations cannot be enough justification for non-performance. Delhi's three-term chief minister, Sheila Dixit, has called it an excuse to not work. The first six years of her term coincided with Atal Vihari Vajpayee's tenure as prime minister. The foundation of Delhi's transformation was laid when there was a Congress government in Delhi and an NDA government at the centre. But of course, Kejriwal is not Sheila Dixit and Modi is not Vajpayee.